Craig here again with some troll responses, yes. Because I get a lot of flack on my channel all the time dealing with uh, exposing the Fukushima liars, the ones that tell you you're all going to die from Fukushima, uh, I decided to make some more videos. Why not? That's what they want, apparently. Uh, the big guys are going to be angry at this, but okay, you little guys keep spurring me on. We'll keep doing this. Uh, we're going to be going after the two big guys, the ones that lie, the chief liars, the uh, Fukin liars. Uh, those are the ones that we're going to go after mostly here tonight. Uh, what I'm going to show you here is I decided to try to find out what it, what their method is, how they go about doing what they do, how they because they, they try to scam people for money. That's what they do. If you look at their pages, uh, they always have donation pay, donations, and they're trying to get money out of you. They've been doing it for years, and we got these two running neck and neck trying to compete against each other, apparently, trying to see who can outdo the other on the biggest scam, because they can be proven to be liars over and over again all the time. And, okay, go ahead and try to defy it in my comment section, and then, as everybody knows, I always go right after you again and show you proof and evidence, and you can just come back and scream and we're all going to die. Doesn't work that way. There's something called evidence and facts, and there's something called assertions and lies. So anyway, the two we're going to be covering here is Beautiful Girl by Dana. That's the name of the channel. His name is Dana Dernford. And Kevin Blanche, which his channel is the same name as his name. Those are the two we're going to be going after here today. Here I have this. This is the page showing you the videos by Beautiful Girl by Dana. All right. He seems to produce. Got a lot of subscribers. Almost 20, 23,000 subscribers. And he puts out a video about every day. If you look at these, uh, and putting out these videos is a lot of work, people. Uh, so he puts out, let me scroll down here. See, it, it's about a, a video a day. Okay? And they're always long videos. If you look at this, they're, they're like an hour long, most of them, or more. That's what most of them are. And it's a lot of work putting these, putting these videos up. i got to tell you, I've been doing some of these videos now for about three years myself. And... Things like coming up with the uh, screenshot here, uh, you got to do a lot of work just to even get that, the, the icon here. So it takes a lot of work. These guys put some work into it, and he spends a whole hour. I think I haven't seen his videos in a long time, uh, but he's probably it's probably just a live broadcast that he does. I think that's the way he's been doing it for years. He just sits down in front of the camera and hopes people comes and responds and just goes over the same nonsense over and over again. Uh, the other one we're going to show you, compare them to, we're going to compare the two. We're going to find out what they do and how I could do better maybe. Uh, this guy here, Kevin Blanche, he's got half the subscribers. I'm going to show you all these numbers later in detail in a chart form. And look at this. He actually put out how many videos he put out. They're a lot shorter, but look how many he's done here. In one day, I counted them. This was from yesterday. There's 17 videos he produced in one day. And then the next day, or the day prior to that, 17 more videos. Now, this guy does it differently. He, uh, he probably just starts the camera and stops it and probably doesn't have to do any editing. Uh, and that makes a big difference. When you do editing, it does uh, make a lot, of, uh, a lot of extra time because then you have to render it separately. And there's a lot of other work to do, uh, inserts and audio and video, combining different cameras and so on. There's a lot more work in editing when you, when you do otherwise. My early days, that's all I did was I turned on the camera, recorded and shut it off, loaded it. That was it. But now I use the editing uh, feature quite a lot. So anyway, he puts out one a day. I'm sorry, about 17 a day, at least the last two days he did. <laughs> and he's not very far on the subscribers compared to, to Dana. Uh, now, let's have a look here. Uh, where do I want to go next? I want to go here. Okay, we're going to take a, a look at their rankings here. Uh, Beautiful Girl by Dana. All right, now, this shows how many videos he has. He has 1,600 videos. Wow. 23,000 subscribers and, and 8.7 million views on all his videos. He's from Canada. All right. C plus. Well, actually, they, they both have C plus. Um, and as you see here, in the last 30 days, uh, he's down 82 percent uh, on new subscribers, and his views for the last 30 days are down 481 percent. Bad times. Kind of feel sorry for the guy, don't you? Nope. If we go to Kevin's, and we'll go over these numbers again. Uh, these are the numbers we're going to look for here. These three numbers, so we're gonna ones we're gonna concentrate on. Let's go to Kevin's channel. Uh, also C plus rating, almost four thousand uploads. He's got twice as many videos, half as many subscribers as Dana, and half as many views. He's from the U.S. 
His is down too. His subscriber base is down 79% in the last 30 days. And his views aren't down quite as much as Dana's. He's down uh, almost 7% for the last 30 days on views. And just for the hell of it, I want because I did a comparison with myself. Now, my numbers are a whole lot different because I'm a, a small fry channel. But here's my numbers. 223 videos, uh, almost 14,000 subscribers, 1.7 million views from the U.S., also C+. Uh, but mine's down, too. My subscri new subscribers are down 12% uh, in the last 30 days. Uh, my views are actually up about 13%. And that's kind of relative how many videos I put up at any one time, how that changes in the last 30 days. Um, and I put it all in a chart here together so that you can see all of them put together here. All right. Dana Dernford, Beautiful Girl by Dana. This is the number of videos, number of subscribers, number of views. We'll go over these later. And compared to Blanche and compared to me. All right. Uh, as you see, Blanche has about twice as many videos. Almost twice as many videos. But half his number of subscribers is Dernford. And half his number of views. These are rough numbers here that I'm telling you. Uh, me, I have very low number of videos. But, oh, well, I have more subscribers than Blanche. So for the same amount of work, for 223 videos versus 3,000, <laughs> uh, he does a lot more work than me, doesn't he? And I only have 1.7 million views. But if you look at the ratio of videos, number of videos to subscribers, these are the numbers. Uh, Blanche is doing pretty bad compared to Dernford. And I'm actually doing, even though I'm a small fry, I'm doing pretty good for the actual ratio of videos to subscribers. And the number percentage number of subscribers to views in other words, the number of people who come to your channel that actually subscribe, uh, they're at about a quarter of 1%, and I'm almost 1%. So I'm actually not doing as bad as I thought. Uh, but this shows you the neck and neck race these guys are in. This guy's producing so many videos every single day to try to catch up with Dernford, who's just sitting back and doing one video a day. But they're both putting a lot of work into this. you got to admit, they're both working it really hard. If they don't work it, their funds apparently dry up. Uh, that's apparently you have to keep doing it. Uh, because, because they have so many videos here, between the two of them, anytime you do a, a Google search or, or a YouTube search with the word Fukushima in it, uh, this is part of their plan, I'm sure, you're, you're almost certain to have several videos of both of them in that, on that first page. And that's what they're going after here. And they repeat the same lies over and over again and are easily debunked. But if you tell the same lie over and over again, it becomes truth to a lot of people. And that's what they're doing here. So they're producing a massive amount of videos with little results, actually. And I'm glad to see these numbers because that tells me a lot of, their, a lot of the people coming to view aren't buying into their bullshit. But a lot of the subscribers probably go back and watch every single thing they do. And that's probably why Blanche is having so much trouble here, trying to catch up. So, their work is hard. Feel sorry for the guys. Go subscribe to their channel. Show them a little love. But don't you dare put a bad comment on their channel, because then they'll back block you and ban you. Uh-oh. Thanks for watching. Well, that's great. That's just fucking great, man. Now what the fuck are we supposed to do? We're some real pretty shit now, man. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. What the fuck are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do?